Heads just loaded up. Let's go into it. In the upper right, the world champion two years ago. He is. SK Telecom T1 Parking, Wanisa. And his opponent up right now with a 1 0 lead. SK Telecom T1 Classic, Kim Do. All right, let's see how this one goes, Tasteless. Well, um, I wonder we if we'll see like a uh, maybe a four gate blank stalker against DT opener. Uh, we could certainly see that. You know, it's it's funny. I, I really, after I saw parting at that Nexus, I was like, well, there you go, best control in the business. Uh, you probably are going to close this out with a win, but. Mm. It's well, funny to see him with the timing just a little bit off there when he's supposed to leave the contain. How, how is it that the Oracle stayed at home? Did I miss something? Wait, was um, there something happening no, over there I mean, that I, I missed? Well, I, it's possible maybe he thought that there was like a pylon built outside on the map. Yeah. And then he was going to get uh, Like maybe like kill Zelda that are trying to work Yeah, in. something like that. Yeah, I um, understand that part. I guess he it's, might have seen that there were enough stalkers back well, in, part is, uh, in classic space. And he's like, well, the Oracle's... I it, might as well be saved yeah. and if, win this. If, if you kill the Nexus, you don't really need the Oracle anyways, because the Oracle is actually how you would end up killing the Nexus if you don't, like, just right-click on it while the Nexus cannon is going. Yeah. So, uh, fair enough that he was, like, trying to play defensively with that, but he did overstay his welcome by enough that it, it's like, huh, uh, you should know better than that parting. Well, at this level, I mean, we're talking CODAS level play here. We're talking, like, top three protoss in the world from parting. Yeah. Um... Everybody does have their bad days, though. Indeed, they do. <coughs> we have a second gateway here from uh, Classic. Hmm. All right. So and that's like he'll probably put some pressure on. Yeah, because you don't normally get the gateway that early unless you're really trying to, you know, um, get in the other player's face early on. So uh, a bit of a role reversal here with Classic being the one who's going to be the aggressor here, at mm -hmm. least in the early game. Well, with parting uh, Chrono Boosting out this century, probably going to be a very fast expansion coming out of him. We'll see if he's able to hold. Well, uh, I have to wait a minute here. I think it's just going to be... I, I wonder how heavily Classic's going to commit to this, right? Because he's going to go scout it. The thing is, if you see that they have a sentry, I think you'll just basically always add that third gate. And, oh, it looks like we're going to have a blink first blink build here. Oh, this is going to be cool. Um, well, well, actually, with that sentry, that's not necessarily a blink. That could be a DT opener from parting. Actually, I think you're right. Imagine if it's a DT opener against a four-gate plank. Well, that's going to be fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Um, Second gate, no third. That's a DT opener. Yep. Well, well um, the Mothership Core is just peeking out on this edge here. Looking at that rock. Mm-hmm. Just chilling, chilling at, at that, at that rock. rock, man. That's what that's a, looks it's like. like. Oh, look at that! Yeah, I it's a little rock, rock sculpture. It's not as good as uh, Jeju Doe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those little pomegranate figurines. Yeah. Okay, uh, here comes the Mothership Court coming in here for a peek, and he should be uh, just breezing right by. Peekaboo, nerd! I see your tech. Yeah, that's yep. pretty important. Uh, yeah, that you get to see that he's going DTs now when you're going. Blank. Mothership Court gonna be like, watch this. Whoa. If that <laughs> was Parting's Mothership Core, he probably would have killed three or four probes. Parting's Mothership Core would have coasted through there and like a boomerang, actually, with a perfect arc hitting every single probe. But it would have dropped Widow Mines out into that <laughs> mineral line. That's what it would have done. And it would have forced a cancel in the Dark Shrine as well. All right, so he is just going to go ahead and grab a Robo. Um, Parting is actually looking like he wants to let the Dark Shrine finish. And he is going blank. Uh, so he'll probably just make a single DT here. Yeah. And, you know, I guess a single DT, when you count it all up, like, I guess the Robo Knobs is less gas, but you're going to have a pretty similar number of stalkers. But he also bought a sentry early, so. Like, hey, here comes that DT <laughs> now. And nope. he's going to use that to defend. Quite uh, a few more stalkers here Classic, classic. is going to regroup. Now, he's going to have Blink pretty soon here, and you could basically ignore the DT. Uh, if you're doing it right, and just kind of blink around and take out units. So, mm. 
For a second, I was like using Starbo logic because we were playing that. I'm like, he could just blink right in the main. He could just <laughs> blink right in the main because Starbo's can see on the high ground. Then I'm like, no, 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 no. Mm. Stalker bows. Stalker bows, man. Um, well, the Nexus is almost finished up. Classic's Nexus uh, a bit behind. That's right. Uh, but Classic is going in for an attack, it looks like. He's going to have his uh, Observer. And a bigger number of Stalkers at the moment. But with that Mothership Core, should be able to hold. Nice force field there. And in fact, he does blink down and forces Classic right out of here. So Parting now, I would say, uh, has taken a pretty good lead here. Killed off a few Stalkers. Much faster Nexus. Yep. And, uh, you know, it, well, I guess he has the Dark Shrine. That's not the most useful thing, but... Uh, maybe something. if we go into, like, late, late, late game or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it, it could be oh. useful again later on, but he but, needs to get a Robo down. Yeah, he's not He's on an attack that's going to really behoove him that much uh, for the next segue. Now, we're, we might be entering into the mid-game. Once you get to the mid-game and both pro players have stabilized in Protoss versus Protoss, it's pretty hard for them to actually hurt each other. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's... If both players uh, make immortals, you can't really finish anyone off. You know, you just... You kind of wait and see who takes the third and how greedily they take it. <laughs> um, okay, whoa, well, nice. Oh, wow. The DT actually did get over here. Yeah, that was We almost missed that. Team. The Observer almost didn't catch that. <laughs> um, Okay, nicely done. And now he's going to come up here with his own Stalkers, but I don't think this is going to work because the Immortal's here. He should just yeah. that, like, just definitely run out here. Oh, my God. But, oh, it's partying in his control, so he's yeah. going to try to... He's like, no, I think I can do, like, maybe 3% more damage than if I had just ran away, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Well, I tell you, uh, more often than not, it does work out for him. But you know what? He's put on some pressure. He's killed a few extra probes. He's actually up by 10 probes right now. Which is, well, just as I say that, to finish. So it looks like it's only eight, but it was ten tastes, I swear it. And you know what? You're a liar, probes? Dan. <laughs> it's a giant difference, You're lying man. to me and all these nice people watching I this know. game. <laughs> I'm disgusted. <laughs> um, so what happened? <laughs> um, <laughs> we do have a uh, Dark Shrine as well as a War Prism coming up for yeah, classic, yeah. So. Counter DT drops is pretty good. It's kind of like Banshee versus Counter Banshee. You yeah, know, this or is like a really counter cool Banshee. aggressive counter to this. Because mm -hmm. your opponent, if they went with a DT opener, uh, their Robo is later, which means you know they're going to have less observers, generally speaking. They're going to be trying to get out some immortals, maybe only get one observer, something like that. And you might be oh, able to wow. get some damage done. I can't believe he missed that. Wow, this actually... Okay, let's see where this goes. I mean... The element of surprise is definitely going to kick in here because... Wait, does he just stop the Warp Prism? Maybe might be, did he park that? Okay, I think he's moving it now. Yeah, it looks like he's moving it now. He did stop it for a moment there. Okay, so he's coming up here now. Uh, we have sentries in the main. And by the way, sentries, not exactly great against the DT drop unless they actually... Oh Tastes my about god! To see this. Oh, run, 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 run! Oh boy. Uh -oh. Not, uh, in retrospect, the, the best, best place, place to stop that. <laughs> to stop a warp prism to warp in a DT. I think that's the, the equivalent of sitting down on the middle of the highway. That was Yeah, that's like one of the paths people use on this map. Like a very common path. If he just went that to like him the scouting. third. We, we, we don't, when we cast, we don't go, wow, nice scouting there uh, by party. That was like, no, he's, walking, was... he's walking by and he goes, oh, I'll take this. Yeah, uh, that, that's pretty brutal. He is making another war prism. I don't know what he's going to get be able to get done with that. Like the timing for that's gone. Parting has defensive cannons as well, and uh, you know both of them just kind of adding production at the moment. Well, by the way, do we not have a forge here going for classic right now against Parting getting plus two? Um. Well, hold on a second. That was a, I was actually a bit surprised to see Parting actually yeah. do that there. That was like what would. Require. I mean, obviously your opponent's going to blink by now. You already saw Immortals. You know, we don't have a Forge for Classic. And that's not good. That's... Well, when you don't even have a Forge and your opponent uh, is about to have plus two attack, I'm trying to imagine a world in which you win that battle, right? You can't ignore upgrades yeah, more for this probes, Well, like, look, it's PvP. When you're in this phase of the game, you start. what you do is you just finish the rest of the tech tree. It's yeah. too hard to attack on each other. That's why I was even surprised to see party kind of poke when, up there. Generally, when you get your expansion, like, alongside the beginning of Immortal Production, which just always happens as you get the expansion, you generally just get a forge, unless you're planning some weird all-in, or, or your opponent is. Uh, but he hasn't done that this time, so superior upgrades and a superior army here. Doing a good job there for Parting. GG, yeah. 
Uh, Classic kind of bungled that. He certainly Man did. Game. When your opponent opens DT and you open blink and you get the uh, observer in time, it doesn't become a one-sided game for your opponent. <laughs> uh, you know, he he was able to have more stalkers and maybe get something done with that, but he didn't even try to attack after observers. Yeah. He poked one time and ran away. And uh, that was that was his timing to get at least a little bit of damage done and taking advantage in the game. Well, it's 1-1 one, one now. The pressure's really on here for both these guys. Um, let's see, what map exactly is Classic going to pick here? I don't know. It's, hmm. it's hard to say. It's just like a preference thing for him. I think King Sage on station for him, but we'll see. Wait for it. Frost. Frost. Okay. okay, fair enough. It's a map that's been around for a long time. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a map classic that's played a bajillion times, yeah. so why not? It's just a normal map. Well, um, <clears throat> could be anybody's game. Both these guys have a lot of hiccups uh, in their play. I would um, say burps tasteless. <laughs> you, can, you cannot forgive this You're in the round so of 16 funny. of Kodas. These aren't hiccups, these are burps. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, partying with that... Uh, just keeping the contain there for too long in game number one. Easy punish there for the The complete classic. lack of pressure against Dark Shrine when you have Blink Stalker is befuddling. And then, you know, because he does have Observers. And then uh, on top of that where he parked that Warp Prism. And then it w and here's the part that really gets my goat tasteless. He parked it into phase mode and then didn't warp into DT. It just sat there. Yeah. And... As if it was waiting to die to the stalkers of the party. It's a rough day for both of these guys. Let's see who's going to win this first uh, this first best of three and go on to the winner's match here at the GSL Code